Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be going over a nice algebraic equation. So right here, we have our equation x to the power of 6 equals x minus 1 to the power of 6. And if you notice, you can see that both sides of the equation are to the power of 6. So to simplify this equation, why don't we find the sixth root of both sides? So then we can make it much simpler. So x to the power of 6, we're going to do x to the power of 6 to the sixth root. And this is going to equal the sixth root of x minus 1 to the power of 6. And these two actually cancel out. So x to the power of 6 to the 6th root, it's going to cancel out because these two are opposites. So remember, opposites cancel out. So this is simply going to result in x equals, these two are going to cancel out as well. So we're just left with plus or minus. Remember, we got the plus or minus x minus 1. So now this gives us two equations. This gives us x equals positive x minus 1, or this gives us x equals negative x minus 1. Let's first try the positive. So we're going to do x equals x minus 1. It's just... And now if we subtract x on both sides for this, we get 0 equals negative 1. And this is actually a false equation, meaning this wouldn't work. x can't equal x minus 1. So we can't use the positive version. So now let's try the negative version. Let's do x equals negative 1. Same thing as just negative x minus 1. So now we're going to have to distribute this negative 1. So we're going to multiply with x and negative 1. So this results in x equals negative 1 times x is negative x. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. And now we're going to add x on both sides. And x plus x is 2x equals one. And now to isolate x, we're going to divide by two on both sides. These two cancel out. So we're simply left with x equals one half. And this is our answer to this equation. Now let's check to see if it works. Why don't we plug in one half into our equation here? So this is going to be 1 half to the power of 6 equals 1 half minus 1 to the power of 6. Well, 1 half to the power of 6, that's going to be 1 over 64. And this equals, well, 1 half minus 1 is simply negative 1 half. And negative 1 half to the power of 6, well, that's the same thing as 1 half to the power of 6. Because if it, it, even if you square a positive or negative number, as long as our exponent here is even, then our answer is always going to be positive. And since our exponent here is an even, then our answer here is going to be positive. So negative 1 half to the power of 6 is also 1 over 64. So this is right, meaning x does equal 1 half. So this is our answer to this equation.